leaving the job. Let's go thrifting. When you go into eBay and you're sourcing items, you always want to check sold comps. You hear people all the time on all their videos and whatnot talking about sold comps, and that's really good. But also, you want to check all the active listings. Because let's say, for instance, these Justin Boots. If I found a pair of these, and I can buy them for $25 and I see where they have sold for $75 but there's a bunch of them listed at 30 bucks it's probably not a good idea for me to buy them that's just a, a kind of a wild example but I like to scroll down see how many Justin boots kind of the styles what they're listed at active listings uh, those are really neat and then if the shoes you're buying are used, you want to make sure you turn on the pre-owned as well as the sold. And that will tell you what the pre-owned boots have sold for. Such as this boots 3502 1777 shipping and it sold on 131-2020. There's another pair of 131 through 2020, a little bit different style, 50 bucks, 10 bucks shipping. There's another pair of 131 20, 35 bucks, 14 shipping. And so forth, so on. You want to make sure you check the date these were sold. Because if these only sell 
once a month or once every three months that might play a part in your decision whether or not to buy this item whether it be shoes or whatever it is unless you have room to store it we have a we call it our resale barn it's a 34 by 12 building that we do all our listing in our computers everything's out there uh, we do all of our amazon shipping out there when we ship in our fba stuff and whatnot and we store our ebay items out there but this was just a little quick lesson so to speak uh for lack of a better word on what i like to do because not only the sold comps i also find in our business model that the sold date is just as important and like you can see just in boots today there have been a load of them justin boots are very popular they're not the most expensive in the cowboy boots uh you can go on up at tony llama lucchese uh, different brands <clears throat> just like in in other shoes you know a pair of lanvin paris sneakers be 350 bucks used uh cole Haan. Uh, most Cole Hines that I find are ones we list in the $35 to $75 range, depending on the style and condition. But anyway, I thought I would share that. Now, on with the video. I'm sorry for, uh, didn't get to talk much in the, uh, in the thrift store. Uh, they're not real fond of you filming in there, uh, but anyway, that's another story. Uh, plus, there's loud music playing in the background. I know some other YouTubers get into some issues with that as far as getting their videos taken down for copyright problems and whatnot. So, I just let you watch and go along with me. Uh, we'll be showing you what we got out of that thrift store, as well as a couple of other thrift visits my daughter Chelsea and I made. Uh, but I wanted to tell you something right quick. I like going around to all the general merchandise, just like you see on other YouTube channels. Uh, people that buy the DVD VCR combos and flip them on Amazon or eBay for a couple of hundred bucks. You know, it's cool to find stuff like that. Uh, I found some really good items and whatnot, but. I see resellers coming into stores with their phones out and they're searching comps on several items in the general merchandise section. They don't find anything and they leave and head to another store. Well, I like to look through the general merchandise. In fact, that's what I do first. But I also, there you, every store might not have gold in it, but there's silver everywhere. That's one reason I like shoes so much. Every thrift store has shoes. Practically every thrift store I go in, I can find a minimum of one or two pairs of shoes that I can make good profit on. And by good profit, the thrift store that you saw me in in this video, the shoes cost, the shoes on the racks are $4 and the ones in the tubs are either $1 or $2. And I have found Cole Hines in a tub for a couple of dollars, sold them for 45 bucks. Uh, so don't just limit yourself to one thing you know yes general merchandise look in the shell you know trying to find that that pot of gold or whatnot is awesome keep it up but you need kind of another niche a sideline i like to do shoes neckties okay a salvador ferragamo necktie can go anywhere from 20 to 250 dollars uh, the Hermes ties the same and even more uh, you may find Tommy Hilfiger uh, ties or uh, chaps like Ralph Lauren uh, I found uh, uh, Ducks Unlimited ties with really pretty duck scenes all that stuff on there sell for $20 and most stores that I go into ties are like 25 cents 50 cents maybe a dollar it costs nothing to ship them you know so I got shoes and ties I will go I would say maybe 10% of our listings are like shirts 
I try to keep a good quality shirts. So I go through and I look at the shirt first to see what the shirt looks like. Colorful designs, shirts that stand out. Then once I find one, then I look at the tag and see the brand. If I find a shirt that stands out and it's North Face, it's coming home. If I find a shirt that stands out, it's real pretty and colorful, got cool designs on it. Maybe it's got Gildan or Hanes on it, but it's cool. I can usually, I can get $15, $18 out of, out of some, most of these shirts. Not all of them now. And that'll come with time. But you can buy shirts $2 to $4. Uh, and anytime you're triple or quadrupling your money, you know, it's great. Uh, but with general merchandise, find, find you another niche. My favorite niche is shoes. Which brings me to my next point. At our shop, we have a photo section set up in our shop. Uh, I purchased a photo booth that came with two LED lights and a camera or phone stand for $26, I think it was. And you'll see it right here. All right, we also have a, uh, a setup on the wall, a white wall camera setup, blah, 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 blah. I'll let CC Chelsea show you that here in a few minutes. But I wanted to talk to you. I do a lot of traveling with my business, my job. Uh, that's what I'm trying to get to the point where I can replace, get out of the rat race and just do online business from home for the rest of my life. Uh, anyway, I do a lot of traveling, so I buy a lot of shoes. And people ask me, well, how do you get good quality photos? I have an iPhone. In fact, the iPhone is what I'm filming this on right now. And it takes pretty darn good pictures. All right. So I have a light source. And it's usually like a, one of those little clip-on lamp thingamajiggers. And I use that with my iPhone. And for the white background, this is a piece of poster board. Like what's on the wall back here. You get a piece of white poster board for 68 cents at Dollar General or Dollar Tree or whatever dollar dollar place you go to. Lay it down on the floor or on a table. Light, camera, bam. You've got good quality photos. Uh, I bought, well my son got me to, uh, I also work on, I do all kinds of stuff, but I like to work on uh, vehicles, I like to do woodwork, different things in my spare time. He bought me some really cool, like uh, pivotable work lights, LED work lights at Sam's Club. He works at Sam's Club. So usually, I don't have it with me right now, usually I have that and I set this up like a triangle with my shoes or whatnot under them on the white and man, it takes awesome pictures. And I'll show you that right here. Hey, your gig doesn't have to be totally about shoes. You know how earlier uh, I said you can sell almost anything on eBay? If you don't believe me, check this out. Hey guys, this video is getting a little long. I don't want to get it too long. I want people to stay, to interact with the videos and to get what they can out of them. So I called my daughter Cece. She is uh, Chelsea. Uh, she's making a video and plus with some other footage I have we're gonna explain the way we take photos our white wall for shirts and things like that our light box for shoes and other general merchandise and basically everything we do uh, most of what we do uh, can be done with very very little budget uh, like I said earlier, a white poster board and decent lighting and a good phone, man, you're going to make better photos than 70% of the people on eBay make. Uh, do we make, do we do the best photos? No, probably not. But they're very effective. Yeah, very effective. And uh, we'll show you all that, how you can get it. Uh, it's just like right here. Our wall consists of a piece of white, smooth paneling from Lowe's.
So with that, I'm going to end this video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, uh, you can smash the subscribe button. Uh, I do. I build niche websites for affiliate marketing. Okay. And I started, my daughter and I started the eBay Amazon business as a way to help people make money while they build their affiliate marketing business. Because everybody wanted to know affiliate marketing takes a little time. Well, how do I make money now? So we started doing this and come to find out we loved, we loved it. I mean, it's, it's a blast. We have fun with it and make pretty good money at it too. Uh, but anyway, this channel is geared toward that. My daughter's channel, Family Picking, P I C K I N, will I help her with content? She helps me with content, but her channel is geared more toward thrifting, eBay, Amazon, wholesale, bulk book sales, things like that. And I think you really like her content. So go over and check her out, Family Picking, P I C K I N. And I'd appreciate that thumbs up, smash the like button, and I'll see you next time.